Once again, now that we've got our cast shadows, our changed hue, we're going to add the lightning. I'm going to go ahead and open up the lightning photo file open. And I'm going to browse for that lightning photo that I downloaded. Okay, I'm going to take that whole photo and drag it over to my landscape. All right, so I pulled that away so I can see it. I've got the move tool. I'm going to click it, drag it, drop that whole lightning photo over. I did not re try to remove it from its background. Okay, I dragged it, dropped it, dropped the whole thing over. All right, it placed it below the one of the deer. I don't want that. I want to put it on the top of my layers palette. I'm going to drag that up. Okay, now my lightning photo was pretty big. I'm not getting all of it. I'm going to zoom out with my navigator. I'm going to go to Control T or Free Transform. Control T or Edit Free Transform and resize this. Now, I could use the whole image, you know, the whole lightning photo over my entire landscape. I could do that. Or I could just use part of it. I don't want those trees at the bottom, so I'm going to keep zooming and actually only using the lightning photo, but I'm putting it over my entire document. I just want to see what that will look like. Otherwise, I might change it. All right, I'll hit Enter. And I'm going to zoom back in. I'm going to double click on the hand. All right. Now, right now, obviously, all you can see is the lightning photo. What I'm going to do is play around, which, which is called the layer blending modes. Layer blending modes are how your layers interact with each other. When the layer blending mode is on normal, when it says normal right here, that means the top layer is not interacting with the layer below it. I want to, it, it to interact. I'm going to drop down where it says normal and take a look at all these options. Just slowly go over each option and take a look at how it now blends with the layer below it. Some of them will look sort of natural, like lighten looks sort of natural, or screen. Some of them are going to look really crazy bright, like color dodge. All right, so some of them, depending on if your photograph had more blacks or more whites, you'll need to use either lighten or multiply or maybe even overlay. Now, notice since my uh, lightning is going over the entire document, it's interacting with the entire document. So what I could do is... Uh, shrink that up again all right so control t and let's say i don't want to use the whole lightning photograph so i'm going to shrink it down and by the way i don't want those trees so if those get in the way oh i might erase them but what i am going to do is make sure that this goes across the whole top of the document and once again go to those layer blending modes drop it down where it says normal and scroll through those layer blending modes, see which one helps my lightning interact more naturally. All right, for me, I kind of like soft light, but the thing is, is that it's making uh, those black trees, those black trees down there are showing up too much. So what I'm going to do is erase them. All right, I'm going to get my eraser on in the tool palette, eraser. I'm going to drop down the brush tip for the eraser, and I'm going to choose the soft round eraser. And I'm going to make it real big. 
So it's going to have a soft edge. Now, the other thing I'm going to do, um, if you want the eraser to erase real softly, right now I've got it on 100%, so it's really erasing um, all of it. But let's say I want it to be a, a softer transition. I can actually reduce the opacity of my eraser. And then I'll sort of softly transition in that lightning. All right, so there's my lightning photo. Notice if I, um, you know, hide everything, then you can see how it's interacting. So that lightning was pretty um, subtle. I'm going to go ahead and open up that other lightning photo just so you can see the difference since uh, this new lightning photo has got a purple cast to it. All right, I'm going to get my move tool. I'm going to drag and drop this lightning layer over. All right, so this lightning is pretty big as well. I'm going to control T for free transform. Shrink it down. All right, I'm going to keep that over the whole document. Okay, and once again, I'm going to go to my layer blending mode where it says normal, drop that down, and take a look at how this new photo with that purple interacts. All right, so with the purple one, I put my layer blending mode on overlay. So take a look at normal. Here's normal. Now I'm going to put my blending mode on overlay and take a look at how it now gives my whole document sort of a purple cast and the lightning looks pretty realistic but once again I've got that purple cast on there all right that's adding some lightning with your layer blending modes